Now, I was debating actually to show you these plants because um, this is a planter that I had planted up quite a while ago, and some of these really outgrow themselves. And actually, that is an episode that I'm gonna be doing is replanting some of these and reshaping some of these succulent containers because you could see the sedums and everything have kind of grown out of proportion. And, um, and the only place that I could actually show you this plant was in companion plantings because this is Crassula muscosa, which essentially means moss-like. And this plant has so many different common names. Um, I've seen it watch chain plant, zipper plant, um, moss plant, moss succulent, all sorts of different types of common names that I probably can't think of off the top of my head, but you could see why, because it has this kind of like very dainty, mossy-like look. And I have one here that I picked up um, and I got as a cutting from one of the growers that I had. So you could see it's a little on the dry side because it hasn't really rooted up compared to something like this, which is a little bit more on, on the green side. So um, whether this is going to root up, I mean, I'm actually filming this in winter, so whether it's going to root up in the middle of winter, we will see. But typically you could just take cuttings of this, stick it in some soil and it away, it will start to grow. And, um, and you can actually cut these back a little bit if you wanna shape it a little bit more. And that's actually one of the ones that I'm going to be doing with this planter because I really do think they make really beautiful container um, kind of uh, partner plants with um, con container planting, especially for succulents. So please disregard any of the other species that you see here because we are strictly going to be focusing on this one, which is this Crassula or the watch chain plant. And um, this is actually native a little bit more to the kind of South Africa and Namibia. And I'm growing it in a bit more of a succulent mix with a little bit more of bonsai soil because it wants a little bit more of that airy mixture. And I'm growing this Crassula in kind of full sun condition. So if you've been tuning into 365 days of plants, you'll notice that I've started to grow some of my Crassula underneath, um, underneath some of my grow lights because some Crassula I find are a little bit more sensitive to my southwest facing window and they tend to dry out. And so if I'm not on top of the watering or if I'm not on top of kind of when the intense sun is going to hit, um, they kind of pucker a little bit and I have moved those a bit more to controlled lighting systems. Whereas this watch chain succulent doesn't seem to mind any of that, those highlight conditions. So this is the one that has worked really well in my companion planting and also in my southwest facing window. Now, as far as fertilizing these go, because I'm doing it in a companion planting, I really stick to cactus and succulent fertilizer, and I may do it more on a monthly basis. So that's a 247 or a 347. Of course, you could just be growing this plant as a normal plant, and if you want to increase the amount of times that you're actually fertilizing this in the growing season, then you could by all means do that. Um, this plant doesn't mind drying out, but you can see that it gets a little bit of like brown um, here and there. So if you let it dry out too much, then some of the leaves are actually going to die back on it. Or if it gets too much of a bright sunlight and you're not giving it the, the amount of water that it needs, then it'll probably kind of crisp up. And you'll see that I'm petting this plant quite a lot because it feels very nice to the touch. And, um, and it's one that is really enjoyable to grow because it kind of has its own way about it. And like I said, if you're not cutting it back, um, within your kind of container planting, it will kind of like do its own thing. And usually the, when I'm planting this within a container planting, the other ones are a bit more subdued, whereas this one gets a little bit like, wow. <laughs> so you do have to kind of clip it back. And again, tune in to Plant One On Me because I will be doing some succulent container plantings, probably both on Instagram and on, on YouTube as well. And you'll see how they turn out because it's one of the things that I've really love to do and, and design in my home, but they don't always last forever because they do have a tendency to kind of grow out and in some cases look scraggly. But great plant, no pet plant um, pest pressures whatsoever. And uh, it's been an enjoyable one to grow.